gagal, jatuh, penuh tantangan. Tapi kami tak pernah hilang semangat. Dengan terus berinovasi untuk hasilkan produk terbaik dengan sepenuh hati. Berkolaborasi, berkreasi tanpa batas, mengembangkan potensi, menjadi cara kami untuk terus berlari. Sejak tahun 2019, kami bertransformasi menjadi Paragon Corp yang terdiri dari Paragon Technology and Innovation, serta Parama Global Inspira sebagai perusahaan distribusi. Kami memiliki 41 distribution center, lebih dari 10.000 paragonian, dan kami akan terus berkembang. Dengan R&D Center terbesar se-Indonesia, kami terus berinovasi menghasilkan brand-brand terbaik. Visi kami adalah memberikan kebermanfaatan yang lebih besar berdasarkan empat pilar demi membantu sesama untuk kemajuan Indonesia. Mari berbagi mimpi yang sama untuk terus bertumbuh, berkolaborasi, mengembangkan potensi bersama Paragon Corp. Perubahan selalu berikan tantangan. Seperti kami yang memilih untuk terus beradaptasi dan bertransformasi menjadi SIG. Kami mempunyai tujuan menjadi perusahaan penyedia solusi bahan bangunan terbesar di regional. Melalui inovasi produk, kami ciptakan metode pembangunan masa depan yang cepat, terjangkau, dan ramah lingkungan. Kami berinovasi dengan menciptakan kemudahan pembangunan lebih praktis, terintegrasi, dan bermanfaat. Kini, kami adalah perusahaan penyedia solusi bahan bangunan yang akan bertindak beda dan selalu melebihi jangkauan. SIG, go beyond next. Kurangin bikin hidup lo ribet sis. Sekarang ada pilihan pembayaran di Kai Akses yang lebih mudah dan cepat. Bayar pakai Kai Pay, beli tiket gak ribet, harus buka banyak aplikasi. Top up terus saldo Kai Pay kamu untuk bisa menikmati pembayaran di semua fitur Kai Akses tanpa biaya transaksi. Kalau ada cara yang lebih mudah dan murah, gue sih lebih pilih dia. Bayar ini itu di Kai Akses hanya dalam sekali klik bikin hidup kamu jadi lebih santai. Pakai KAI Pay di KAI Akses Simple. Bertumbuh bukanlah sebuah tujuan, namun bertumbuh adalah sebuah perjalanan. Berani meninggalkan zona nyaman dan genggam eksposur global dengan kedua tangan. Capai kinerja terbaik dan pantang menyerah. Kita perlu katakan yes, biarpun tidak mudah. Dan banyak menelan kata no, hingga akhirnya yes. Untuk bertumbuh lebih jauh, kita perlu bersama. Karena saat kamu bertumbuh, kita semua juga. Gunakan setiap peluang dan raih masa depanmu. Untuk terus bertumbuh, kamu perlu lingkungan yang tepat. Tempat untuk gapai kesejahteraanmu. Tempat yang memberikanmu ruang untuk terus bertumbuh, apapun tujuanmu, dan selalu tetap terkendali. Ayo bangkit, ambil kendali, dan let's grow! Berbagai peristiwa yang terjadi hari ini dan menjadi sorotan publik akan kami ulas di Prime Time News. Kami menyajikan dialog-dialog mendalam. 
dan up to date dengan arah sumber yang relevan. Kami memberi makna dalam setiap peristiwa. Prime Time News setiap hari jam setengah enam sore. Assalamualaikum wabarakatuh, salam sejahtera bagi kita semua, shalom om swastiastu namo budaya dan salam kebajikan Selamat siang, bagaimana kabar teman-teman sekalian, semoga semua dalam keadaan sehat selalu Perkenalkan, saya Prita Wulandari yang akan memandu webinar UICC Karir Internship, Scholarship, and Entrepreneurship Virtual Expo 2023 Start your dream career early UICC adalah kegiatan ekspo tahunan yang diselenggarakan oleh Pusat Pengembangan Karir Lulusan Universitas Indonesia atau CDC UI di bawah Direktorat Pengembangan Karir Lulusan dan Hubungan Alumni Universitas Indonesia atau disingkat dengan DPKHA UI. Bekerja sama dengan Ikatan Alumni Universitas Indonesia, Iluni UI, serta Karir Lab sebagai platform teknologi informasi lowongan kerja. UICC Virtual Expo 2023 Maret berlangsung dari tanggal 6 hingga 18 Maret dan diikuti oleh berbagai perusahaan ternama. Selain itu, pada tanggal 17 dan 18 Maret akan diadakan secara offline di Balai Rum UI. Kegiatannya ada apa saja ya? Di antaranya ada training, industry bootcamp, serta company talk. Agar rekan-rekan dapat mengenal perusahaan lebih jauh dan mempersiapkan diri, ayo daftarkan segera diri kamu di uicc.carelab.com. Selain itu, UICC Virtual Expo 2023 berkolaborasi dengan Career Lab. Career Lab merupakan platform end-to-end -end career solutions yang memberikan dukungan kepada mahasiswa, fresh graduates, dan profesional muda untuk persiapan karir serta lowongan kerja yang dikurasi untuk entry level. Karen Lab juga telah mendukung puluhan kampus di Indonesia dengan Karen Management Platform untuk pusat karir dan mahasiswa. Info selengkapnya mengenai Karen Lab, silakan rekan-rekan untuk mengakses karirlab.co ya. Kami juga ingin mengucapkan terima kasih kepada sponsor UICC Virtual Expo 2023. Yang pertama ada dari PT Bank Danamon Indonesia, PT Kereta Api Indonesia, Paragon Technology and Innovation, PT Semin Indonesia, dan kolaborasi dengan Karen Lab. Dan official media partner kami, yang pertama ada dari Kompasiana, RTV, Detik Edu, Kata Data, Metro TV, Media Indonesia, Medcom.id, Suarakarya.id, Narasi, Komunitas Narasi, Dahlia FM Bandung, RTCUI, Radio Universitas Tarumanegara, Radio Mercubuana, Juranaba, Kabar Pulau, Pasbana, dan UNJ Entrepreneur Club. Sebelum kita melanjutkan ke sesi berikutnya, tidak lupa saya untuk memberitahu rekan-rekan yang hadir pada siang hari ini untuk mengkonfirmasi kehadirannya melalui QR Code yang ditampilkan pada slide berikut. Dan jangan lupa untuk mendaftar dan mengikuti event-event UICC lainnya melalui uicc.carelab.co. Sekali lagi, jangan lupa untuk mengkonfirmasi kehadirannya melalui QR Code yang ditampilkan pada slide berikut. Dan jangan lupa untuk mendaftar dan mengikuti event-event UICC lainnya melalui uicc.carelab.co. Nah, 
Teman-teman, UICC Expo 2023 ada titi DJ loh. Tukar tiket destinasi jalan-jalan yaitu Grand Prize tiket Garuda ke Bali dan Lombok. Wah, menarik banget ya. Gimana sih cara dapetinnya? Teman-teman bisa kumpulkan undian sebanyak-banyaknya dan bisa cari tahu lebih lanjut di Instagram at karirlab dan TikTok at karirlab.co. Penanya terbaik di sesi webinar ini akan mendapatkan satu kupon undian yang akan dipilih di akhir sesi. Jadi jangan lewatkan kesempatannya ya. Baik teman-teman, pada siang hari ini kita akan melakukan sesi company talk Get to Know Company PT Tractable Engineering Indonesia bersama Miss Imanesa Dane dan Mr. Danang Sukma Putra selaku tim business development Tractable Engineering Indonesia dari PT Tractable Engineering Indonesia. Nah, siapa nih kira-kira yang udah nggak sabar dengerin materinya? Buat teman-teman yang nanti mau bertanya, silakan untuk taruh pertanyaan di kolom Q&A ya, karena di akhir akan ada sesi tanya-jawab. Jadi, jangan lupa manfaatin kesempatan untuk tanya lebih jauh. So, before we begin, I would like to introduce you the speakers. Hello, good afternoon, Ms. Sadane, uh, Iman Sadane, and Mr. Danang Sukma Putra. Good afternoon, selamat siang semuanya. Selamat siang. Okay, amazing. Uh, my name is Prita and I'm here as a moderator who also helped to lead the today's webinar and question and answer sessions later. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome our representative to start the presentations. Please, um, Ms. Imane Sadane and Mr. Dana. Sure. So allow me sometime to, to share my screen so I can introduce our company. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, as uh, Babrita said already, so my name is Iman. Uh, I'm working in Tractable Engineering Indonesia um, as a business developer. And today I'm here with my colleague, uh, Padanong. And we will present you um, like the company, what we are doing, uh, the main uh, activities of uh, our company and um, the day-to-day -day activities we are doing in Tractable Engineering Indonesia. So um, the first slide is showing a, a bit our motto, the direction that this company wants to take. So Tractable Engineering Indonesia is a um, company that is uh, from Belgium, and we are working as consultant for renewable energy. Uh, meaning that we are doing uh, all the advisory for um, big companies to shift to more green, uh, more renewable energies. So this slide show you that we guide you in your transition to a carbon neutral future and to make a positive impact. Next slide, please. So our company has different uh, activities. So we call it business uh, lines, as you can see here. So we have four, uh, energy, urban, nuclear, and water. For the energy, we are focusing on all uh, renewable energy, uh, which is solar, wind, biomass. We also have gas. We also have um, thermal energies, etc. For the urban, uh, it's more focused on uh, how can uh, the urban planning can facilitate uh, the day-to-day -day activities in the city. How can it make uh, a greener impact to the city? So we are focusing on the transport infrastructure, on the building, how can it be more energy efficient uh, and all the territories. For the nuclear, we have also uh, some capacity in there. Uh, and on the water, uh, we are focusing on all the aspects of the water. So the hydropower plan, the irrigation, the water supply and sanitation, desalinization, uh, the ports and marine facilities. Can you go to the next slide? So today I will be focused on the energy because in uh, Intractable Indonesia, this is our main uh, focus, uh, renewable energies. So you have like 
four different components. Uh, our activity is based on four different things, such as uh, power and heat. So means all the biomass, waste to power, gas, combined cycle power plant. Uh, you also have uh, TND, so meaning transmission and distribution. So all the uh, AC, DC, high voltage transmission systems um, of the smart grid also, um, battery storage. Uh, so as I said, we also have renewable. Uh, so onshore, wind, solar, uh, PV, uh, thermal, um, floating solar, hydrogen, um, floating wind as well. This is, uh, we are also focused on the the new trend, uh, the future of renewable energies. And we also have gas. So as I said, hydrogen, biogas, uh, natural gas, etc. Next slide, please. So as I said before, we are uh, a Belgian company. So our headquarter is in Brussels, Belgium. But we also have a company all over the world. Uh, meaning like we have like around 5,000 employees uh, all over the world from America to uh, Southeast Asia. So you see um, we, we, we have a presence in more than 70 countries and 160 projects in all over the world uh, with a turnover uh, of uh, 500, 581 million euro. Uh, so I can explain you on the next slide, our impact on the Asia and Pacific region. Next slide, please. Yeah, so as I said uh, before, we are uh, a consultant designing renewable solution for tomorrow. And can you go to the next slide? And uh, yeah, so for making this, this, this impact and how we design the renewable solution, actually, uh, we are focusing in uh, different um, services, let's say. So from the strategy, the pre-investment, implementation, execution, and operation. So I will take those um, parts separately and I will explain you maybe. Uh, so as we are a consulting company, we are doing advisory for the client. For example, um, I don't know if, uh, so for example, SIG, the cement company wants to have uh, like more green energy uh, to implement in their power system. They will ask to us, okay, uh, Tractable, what you can do? Uh, what is your services? And we, we explain them that we are doing uh, like first the studies. Uh, is it like feasible to put solar panels or wind or biomass? Is it possible? What kind of uh, renewable sources is available on your site first? So we are doing all the measurement first for the wind measurement, the solar measurement. So this is the strategy. And then you are shifting to the pre-investment. So uh, this company can say, okay, this is feasible, but what is the budget? Okay, so we can do all the um, pre-feasibility study, uh, all the economic, the financial model, the business plan. And we can also do uh, more deep uh, feasibility study. And then it comes to the implementation and execution. Once all this, let's say, high level study, technical, financial are done. And so we can, we can implement that. We can do more, uh, let's say, design, uh, detailed design, let's say. We call it like this. So actually it's uh, uh, to provide all the uh, specification, all the drawings to um, construct, to build uh, the solar panels or the renewable uh, power plant. Um, so for this implementation execution, 
we are doing the detailed design. We are doing the set supervision also when uh, the, 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 the drawings are done. Um, so it's time to build it. So we are also like supervise um, the, the construction of it. And then we are also at the very end of the project doing all the uh, operation and maintenance engineering meanings that once the, let's say the renewable power plant, the solar uh, panels are built, we have to maintain them. So we are doing all the, the checking to see if it's done correctly, if it's running correctly, if there is no mistake um, for the, uh, on the operation, etc. So this is really like, uh, what we are doing uh, in a nutshell. Yeah, can you go to the next slide? So, as I explained before, we are focusing on the project management. We're also having technical competence. Um, we're also doing the execution phase. And most importantly, we are independent. Um, especially when it comes to giving some advice. We are not to rely on any, let's say, uh, supplier for the solar panels. For example, we are really like, we can provide our own solution. Can you go to the next slide? Yeah. So um, in, in Asia Pacific region, uh, we, are, we have like um, several offices. Uh, so here in Jakarta, um, and then we have office in Thailand, in Vietnam, in Philippines, uh, in India, uh, Vietnam, Philippines, India, and Australia. So you see, for one region, we have different uh, expertise, experience to bring. We did a lot of projects. Um, so on hydrogen, on green hydrogen, we are doing now uh, in Indonesia, the, the floating solar PV uh, project in Cerata uh, Reservoir. And then uh, in Vietnam, we are doing a lot of uh, offshore wind, um, etc. So can you go to the next slide so I can explain you in details, uh, what we are doing, the project we, we, we have now and that already been complete. Next, please. Next. Okay, so uh, one of our main projects in, in Indonesia is uh, the Cirata floating PV. So this, this kind of project is uh, as you see in the picture, um, the <coughs> sorry. So the the so we are like building now actually floating PV system. Uh, so it's gonna be like on the dam uh, of Cirata. <clears throat> so now we are doing uh, the project management. As I said before, we are like. Uh, assuring that everything is respected, that the construction is good, etc. We're also doing the design of the system and uh, yeah, the, the supervision. Can you go to the next slide, please? Paul. Oh. Um, yeah, so this is another project in, in Sumbawa. Uh, so for this, we are, um, helping the client to, uh, to have a solar PV system. Um, so we are doing all the engineering design review, all the construction supervision and the financial so that the client <clears throat> is sure that uh, this project will be profitable in the future. Next, please. Okay, this one is an interesting project, why? Um, so <clears throat> there is like a private uh, uh, developer who came to us and say, um, please Tractable help us on uh, designing solar PV system and compile it with existing diesel power plant. 
because you know better than me that Indonesia is really uh, rely on coal and diesel power plant for uh, the electricity. So uh, in this project, uh, we help this client convert all the diesel <coughs> power plant to the solar to make it more green. So we did like a lot of studies in remote area, as you can see in Sumbawa, Nias, Papua and West Kalimantan. So the, the, the aim of this, of this project is uh, to really shift from the diesel power plant to the solar uh, system. Next, please. Um, maybe I can let Danong explain because <clears throat> I don't have <laughs> I don't have voice. I lose my voice. Danong, if you can explain, please. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Man. So I will take over the presentation to to describe you the. Okay. Let me stop my video. Okay, let's continue. So let me describe you the our reference in the in the solar PV uh, first battery in East Indonesia. Our client is here is uh, SunGrow, the company from from China. So uh, for the project description itself, actually, the SunGrow want to do the investment uh, to develop uh, three uh, solar power plant uh, in Indonesia. Uh, with the with the capacity of uh, 150 megawatt, 30 and 6 megawatt, uh, the location is uh, in the North Sulawesi, is Nusa Tenggara, and then our service uh, provided here is to as owners engineer. Uh, in 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 detail, we do the review for the detailed study of site condition, uh, and then also review the existing PLN grid condition, and recommend the optimal uh, configuration. And also to, to define the technical specification uh, of all of the equipment, including electrical, mechanical, and civil component. And then to calculate the financial analysis of this uh, project development and do the, uh, the last one is to do the recommendation on OMF, uh, operation and maintenance plan. Next slide, please. <laughs> yeah, the next projects we do uh, for the international financial. Uh, international finding, sorry, I mean, uh, it's from America called MCA, Millennium Challenge Account. So this project is about to develop a small renewable project in, uh, in scattered location within Indonesia. So this kind of various renewable consists of uh, solar, hydro, hydropower, biomass, and biogas. So again, uh, here, uh, we are acting as uh, the lenders engineer because MCA is uh, uh, the one who, who, who provide the, the fund. So our service here is to do the, the project management, uh, including to do the uh, advisor for, for change and claim, and then also the construction commission monitoring on each side. And also the last one is to do the validation of construction and payment milestones for all these 19 uh, projects. Next slide, please. So now we, we will uh, describe you about our reference in transmission and distribution uh, project development. Next slide, please. Yeah, the first project is, uh, we call Durik Wasambi Karang Transmission Line. So our client here is direct to PTPLM Prasero. Uh, and then uh, this technical specification of this uh, TND project is uh, to utilize a 500 kilovolt uh, GF field impact study uh, with the double circuit 500 kilovolt uh, transmission line and also 150 kilovolt of underground cable. And then the service providers here to PLN is to do the project management and contracts administration and also perform the ASI, ASI impact, social and environment impact assessment. And then next one is to do the EPC contract procurement. 
meaning that uh, we are helping PLN to select uh, the, the contractor who will build uh, this project. And, uh, and after that, uh, to review this detail design review provided by EPC contractor, selected EPC contractor. And the last one also to, 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 moni uh, to have uh, construction and commissioning supervision monitoring for this project uh, uh, operation. Next, next slide, please. <clears throat> yes, the next one is about, uh, we call the project, we call Jakarta Network Master Plan Study. Again, the, the client is PLN. So the technical characteristic for this project, actually we provide the study, techno economic study. Uh, and we assess the demand and supply uh, and then the, the forecast for the transmission distribution networks within Jakarta City. Actually, this is a 10 years forecast uh, by PLN and we are helping them. Uh, as you can see in the screen uh, for a detailed uh, action that we, we provide to PLN is to do the demand forecast study, the generation study, the, the networks uh, itself an economic and financial analysis to develop this uh, uh, TND networks, and then uh, recommendation on the grid operation, uh, including environmental analysis, and then training and knowledge sharing for the PLN uh, uh, personnel. Next slide, please. Yeah, um, this is about the, to, to provide a study for a team regional interconnection. And then uh, in this case, our client is the World Bank. Actually, the plan is to, to have a overview or study. How can we connect uh, the transmission system within Indonesia to Timor, East Timor actually. So again, a similar scheme with the previous one, actually we have performed uh, the feasibility study to, for technical and economic assessment uh, to interconnecting PTPL and, uh, and East Timor power systems, uh, including the economic analysis, technical analysis, assessment of system planning process, and review, also advice on commercial uh, condition. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, next section is about the thermal uh, power plant. Next slide, please. So one of the uh, example of our existing project of thermal power plant, it's a combined cycle power plant uh, in Tambak. The location uh, is in uh, Semarang. We call it Tambak Loro with the capacity of 100, sorry, I mean 850 megawatt. So it's still ongoing right now. It's one of uh, our active sites until now. So our service is to provide the engineering uh, support to PT Indonesia Power. And maybe you already know that this uh, PT Indonesia Power is the subholding of PT PLN. So our service here is to be to become a, their owner's engineer to perform the design review, the construction supervision, the quality control of their manufacturing, and also uh, expediting works for the construction process itself. Next slide, please. <clears throat> yeah, the next project uh, of our reference is uh, to become uh, the procurement agent uh, EPC for gas power plant. So again, our client here is to, to be the PLN via La Mayer, meaning that La Mayer actually, if you if you have heard about La Mayer, it's a global engineering consultant as well. And we acquired them to become our entity in Germany. So now La Mayer has uh, uh, become, became the tractable Germany. So for this project, the technical characteristic actually is a for gas fired power plant. Uh, in the very uh, land base, 
meaning that they are on, on ground and mobile uh, in the various capacity. Actually, our role here is to support the tender uh, assistance to PLN, meaning that we actually help PLN to select the con uh, EPC contractor for this 10 package of uh, gas power plant uh, until the, the selection of the, uh, the, the preferred EPC and contract negotiation with the selected EPC contractor. Next slide, please. The next one is about the geothermal power plant. So we also have capacity also in the geothermal power plant. The project location is in Kamojang, West Java. Uh, again, the client is PLN. So in this case, actually, we are we, be, we became the sub-consultant of uh, ICOM. And then uh, our service is limited to the, again, similar to, to the previous one, actually to, to, to perform the tender assistance. <clears throat> Uh, to do the EPC procurement assistance to design, uh, to perform the design review and also to the construction supervision monitoring. Next slide, please. Okay, the next slide is about the, we call the project, we call it uh, PLN21. Actually, the client is our mother company. So if I can describe you a short uh, uh, definition of NG, actually it's, uh, global developer, which is actually its own, uh, our own mother company. So NG as developer want uh, have planned to develop uh, the, uh, the gas infrastructure in Indonesia. So the, the location is scattered within 2021 20, sites uh, within Indonesia. Actually, the, yeah, the, this technical, uh, the technical characteristic is for the project is to uh, the plan is to supply uh, and distribute of the LNG gas uh, for power generation uh, and also uh, for the operation of LNG storage and regasification facilities. So again, here we are acting as a NG's uh, owner's engineer to perform the standard uh, uh, to, uh, to to design the standard layout development for JT uh, and then also for the development of process functional specification of for the onshore plan, meaning that actually we need to define uh, the minimum functional specification. And then the last one is to do the site data review and gas analysis. Next one, please. Yeah, uh, there's a short description about our company profile and also our experience. And now we are welcome you for any, any queries, any questions, Please address in the, and we, we, were, we are happy to, to answer. Thank you. Okay, first I would like to say thank you to Ms. Iman and Mr. Danang regarding the material and insight introducing uh, PT Tractable Engineering Indonesia to our participants today. If I allow to resume your presentation, so Tractable Engineering Indonesia are Nuclear, uh, nuclear and water in focusing on the issues. And tractable engineering also offering energy solutions in power and here renewable and gas. There are experience and services who was mentioned by Ms. Iman on her presentations, life cycle asset and strategy, pre-investment, operation, implement and executions. So without further ado, we would like to go into the next question and answer sessions. I want to remind you uh, guys one more time, if you have any questions or comments regarding the presentations, just please write, out at, uh, write down at question and answer box. While waiting for a question from participants, um, there are one questions here in the box, uh, question and answer. I'll just mention them right away. So the first question is from Mr. Rajendra Daniel Saxono. Uh, the question is, how tractable manage the demand of nowadays renewable energy in Indonesian society, especially aligning it with the availability of various technological innovations? 
So, Ms. Iman or Mr. Danang, who would like to yeah. answer, please? Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for the question. Um, how Tractable manage the demand of nowadays renewable energy in the Indonesian society? So, maybe if you may know that, uh, if you already know, I mean, that actually Indonesia electricity market uh, is being controlled by the government, by the NTP. Uh, uh, the state-owned company called PLN. So actually, this PLN, they uh, establish a master plan for every 10 years roadmap duration uh, for energy projection uh, for Indonesia needs. So actually, based on this uh, roadmap, we call it RUPTL, RUPTL. So based on this roadmap, actually, uh, the scheme for the development actually could be by PLN itself or by the private developer. So the, the load, the demand, the projection, the, 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 the potential sites uh, or kind of renewable energy all actually has been detailed in this PLN master plan. So based on this master plan actually, uh, it can be developed again by PLN or by private developer. So the tract trackable role here actually is to support, could be to PLN, could be private developer, or, or could be to uh, international funding, such as like World Bank, ADV, Standard Chartered, and et cetera, to want to develop uh, this renewable energy. So actually, we are not defined. Uh, we are not uh, defined the, the renewable energy itself, but it's all by government, Indonesian government, ESDM and and PLN. So the, they define the, the the renewable energy needs in Indonesia through this uh, PLN master plan, or we call it RUPTL. Thank you. Um, if I may add to uh, Padanong on um, <clears throat> the needs with the availability of the various technological innovation. Yeah, as, as uh, Padanong mentioned, it's uh, the, the renewable energies, uh, all this uh, master plan is uh, on the PLN side, but uh, there is um, a lot of uh, interest uh, especially on developing um, new kind of uh, renewable energies, uh, such as hydrogen. Um, and they will, we, we are like really uh, talking a lot with um, the interested party to, um, to, 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 to see the, the, the potential and to really like bring this, uh, uh, technological innovation uh, in Indonesia. I hope this replies to your question. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Renan and Ms. Imani to answer the question from Mr. Rajendra and I hope it helps to your questions, Mr. Rajendra, thank you. So moving to the next questions, uh, while waiting for questions from other participants, I personally as moderator have a questions I want to ask to Ms. Iman and Mr. Dana. So uh, my question is, are the solutions offered by the track tables Indonesia in the form of policy formulations or directly in practice producing solutions and projects from the workers in track tables that are solvable in a reasonable time frame. Um, thank you, Mr. Danang and Ms. Imani. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I will I will I will take this. Okay, um, that's a good question. Um, so as you know, there is a uh, <clears throat> many many challenges sometimes to 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 implement renewable energy solution. Uh, and then we we are really like um, the the key is, is the time and also the discussion uh, with the different parties. 
but our really our big biggest goal is to really like accelerate the the energy transition um, everywhere and in Indonesia as well. And so for this, we are really like um, yeah <clears throat> working um, um, as fast as possible to to implement uh, to implement those those project yeah for really accelerate uh, the the energy um, let's say revolution yeah I don't know Danang if you want to add something yeah if I may add something actually as you may have heard that this renewable energy development um, exit exit coal and also decarbonization is the main program of uh, government of Indonesia recently. So uh, we also as tractable, we are, we are supporting the campaign of uh, green energy from the Paris Protocol uh, back in 2018, I guess. So actually, uh, yeah, uh, our role here is to, to support the, the developer, the energy uh, developer uh, key player here, including PLN, by do the, 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 the study in advance. Before the study, I think we can, we also can support the roadmap uh, of the green energy needs, potential and uh, potential development. Uh, one of the key elements, yes, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a timeline actually. So, in order to achieve the, the zero carbon, maybe in 2030, as a program by the government, actually, uh, here, uh, I think it, it it depends on the scope actually uh, needed by needed by tractable for the study itself. I think uh, it could be like one or two months, but for like to become to acting as an owner's engineer, I think it depends on the on the on the. It could be various here. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the project needs, but but uh, to sum up, actually, uh, all of the key players, including the LN, want to have fast uh, movement uh, to, to, to support this campaign. So I guess, uh, I hope that uh, it, could, it could help you. It could, it could uh, answer your, your question. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Danang and Ms. Iman. Uh, who are answered my questions. So to sum up, accelerate the solutions instead of the obstacle to implement the project, um, the energy about revolution. So since uh, renewable energy development main program of the government of Indonesia and Shriktable are promoting and support the developer, key player in order to achieve it depends the various project needs study. Okay, so... Um, I would like to see the box of question and, uh, question and answer. If participants here who would like to ask some questions, I allow you to write down in a box of a Q&A. So uh, while waiting others uh, participants, uh, I have a second question, Mr. Danang and Ms. Iman, if I allow to uh, ask. So uh, talking about the challenges uh, that are mentioned before uh, with Ms. Imane about the uh, solution offered by Trick Tables. Are there are any challenges when running a project as an example of uh, Indonesia in terms of experience that can be shared with today's participants as a little description of uh, Indonesian tractability? Yeah, if I may add the uh... Uh, answer to this to this question. Maybe Ms. Iman could uh, add some more information later on. Actually, based on our experience, uh, of course, the, it's it's a maybe you already know that the main commodity uh, for Indonesia market actually is coal, and then we are really uh, we are rely very much on the coal fire power plant for our existing energy generation. So actually, that's already a challenge for us. Um, how to uh, support PLN or other private developers to shift their strategy by developing a renewable power plant. And then maybe the, the, the first step challenge actually, um, we have mindset 
not mindset actually, it's by experience as well that renewable uh, renewable energy considered as a uh, expensive. So actually, uh, of course, actually we we need times to to develop this to be more efficient. I mean, in terms of financial, in terms of technical, for instance, like the 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 cost of solar panel maybe still considered as expensive, but at, uh, and then the result actually it's 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 quite pricey for PLN and developer to develop renewable energy. But coming to these uh, years, actually, it's getting better and better. So actually, our our main purpose for this energy roadmap actually to achieve affordable renewable energy. So maybe Ms. Iman, if you would add to have to add something. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, really the, the, the main challenge is really to 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 have the renewable energy accessible by by everyone. Um it's just the beginning. Uh and and yeah, we are we are confident it will it will go to the to the right direction. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Danang and Ms. Emane. Uh, for the answer. So to sum up, actually, based on the experience, Indonesian market rely on energy generation. That's a uh, main uh, challenge for uh, Mr. Danang that mentions before. Maybe the first step uh, challenge of renewable energy considered as uh, expensive. So Tractable needs more time to manage in terms of technical. So the main focus are to provide renewable energy in a good deal. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Danang and Ms. Emane. So, uh, because we have uh, more time to the sessions of question and answer, uh, before we closing up the sessions, uh, I would like to mention one or more, uh, one or two questions to Mr. Danang and Ms. Iman. Uh, Ms. Iman to support uh, the more information to the participants who are joined the webinar today. And the second question is from, uh, from me. Um, how does your company choose clients that match the company criteria so that the project collaboration can be carried out with a very good result? Thank you, Mr. Danang and Ms. Imani. Okay. Um... So if I can talk a bit more about, uh, yeah, how we choose uh, the, 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 the company we would like to work with. Um, there is a lot of criteria, but one of the, the most important is that they are uh, aware of the challenge and they want to be committed to the energy transition. Um, we are working with various like industry players, uh, like on the mining, on the also on the coal. Uh, we have a very very strong politic on the the coal power plant. Actually, uh, we cannot uh, let's say um, work on any development of the coal power plant. But if uh, the coal miners uh, company wants to shift their energy towards a more green energy, we can help them to complete this transition. Uh, so this is one of the most uh, um, important uh, criteria to, to take into account. Yeah. yeah. If I may add something, so actually, as you, as we have discussed before, actually this renewable energy roadmap uh, will take so long time uh, to achieve the zero carbon emission. So actually, not only us. So actually, we re we also rely on a young generation to continue the the fight. Let's say, uh, in order to 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 be more greener, it's 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 for us actually. So we can live uh, in a greener world. Uh, so yeah, again, we will rely on our next generation 
to continue our development uh, to achieve uh, uh, to the zero net carbon uh, emission. And then the second question may be how to select the client. Yeah, uh, again, maybe as explained by Ms. Iman here, actually uh, the first uh, things that we look uh, into the client, actually th their commitment uh, to develop the greener energy or to exit coal, let's say, uh, to shift from the diesel power plant or coal power plant into the green, to the into the green the ener uh, green energy, any kind of green energy or maybe new uh, renewable energy such as hydrogen. Actually, uh, as as long as they have that kind of commitment, so actually we are ready to ready to to support. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ms. Iman and Mr. Danang, for answer to my third question. So to summarize, there are a lot of criteria. So the most important is the key have mission to be committed to energy transitions. And if companies shift their energy needed help uh, of the track table are open with a match criteria. And uh, Mr. Danang also adds some point that uh, track table also rely on young generations in collaborate with uh, in the future development. Uh, so uh, secondly, the important is commitment about the issue uh, regarding the green energy. Okay, uh, thank you so much for the information. So um, because the participants, uh, uh, there are no more questions in the questions box. Uh, uh, I would like to give a last question to Mr. Danang and Ms. Imane because we have uh, a little bit of time to end up this uh, webinar session. So this is about the opportunity career. The question is uh, questioning the further opportunity career. So if participants here are interested in join to a tractable engineering, what kind of specification measure perhaps in engineering is applicable to be accepted are other than engineering uh, engineer are allowed to joining maybe there are other divisions in um, tractable indonesia um so uh, yeah uh, if i can explain a bit our our team in tractable indonesia so we have um, many project engineer uh, especially com coming from uh, electrical engineering uh, background. Um, we, uh, we can also, for the business development, um, having engineers, uh, for me personally, I'm, I'm graduated uh, in France as uh, engineer in urban planning. And I had like a bit of... Uh, like a lot of courses in uh, the renewable energy, but mostly on the cities and, and territories. Uh, but this can be uh, matching with, uh, with our tractable um, vision, actually. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think that's, uh, that's all, if I'm not mistaken. Benong, maybe you can correct me if I'm... Yeah. Uh... If we are back to the discussion before, actually we have many business lines. The first mm -hmm. one is renewable energy. The second one is uh, water, water and hydropower, uh, also nuclear, and also urban, urban and mobility. So actually it is obvious that our needs mainly may be more in the expert or engineer both senior or junior, meaning that uh, fresh graduate. So according to this new, to these various business lines actually, but we are more active uh, in renewable energy in Indonesia, for Indonesia market. So on the next position, uh, beyond engineer, actually we also need uh, for the business development 
to expand the market and also maybe uh, some support, maybe some kind of like IT and project control or project admin. So actually, uh, we plan to develop our team to be to be bigger than before. Actually. So actually, uh, of course, we are open for the uh, recruitment, but again, it depends uh, on the company current needs. I hope that can explain the, the needs of the table, uh, especially for the recruitment. Okay, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Danang and Ms. Iman. So uh, regarding to the answer of uh, Mr. Danang and Ms. Iman, um, the uh, majoring, uh, the major from university that are allowed to um, joining Tractable Indonesia, uh, instead of electrical engineering, uh, there are um, available four courses about renewable energy, watering hydropower, urban mobility and nuclear instead of engineer. And uh, there are a lot of um, opportunity in uh, business development and also project controller to promoting tractable. Okay, so uh, the recruitment itself uh, just based on tractable needs. So if uh, uh, there are uh, um, Joining, uh, there are other divisions who would like to join me is based on uh, the major from the students. Okay, so uh, because uh, we have answered the final uh, sessions of the webinar, I would like to thank the participants who have asked questions and have been interested in our sessions this afternoon and Apologize if there are questions that have not been answered due to the time constraints. Uh, thank you very much for the material and presentations of very useful information from Ms. Iman and Mr. Uh, Danang. And I'm sure all of the participants here have uh, gotten a lot of beneficial information from today's presentations because it was already at the end of the webinar sessions. Uh, maybe um, Ms. Iman uh, or Mr. Dana wants to add or give a conclusions. So, if you're uh, interested on the, the the energy transition and uh, uh, you are keen to learn more on the renewable energies uh, project that we are doing in Tractable, you can visit our website uh, tractable.ng.com or um, if you want to know more about the job position that uh, will be open, you can follow us uh, on LinkedIn and in Tractable, uh, web, uh, Tractable page, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Uh, Iman. So uh, Ms. Iman and Mr. Danang, allow me to end the webinar this afternoon. I thank you for the last time. If um, Ms. Iman and Mr. Danang wants to leave the Zoom meeting immediately, we are welcome. Thank you so thank much. You thank much. you. Have a good day, everyone. Terima kasih. Have a good yeah. day. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. Teman-teman, jangan beranjak dulu karena saya ingin kembali mengingatkan kepada teman-teman untuk mengkonfirmasi kehadirannya melalui QR Code yang ada di layar sebagai syarat untuk mendapatkan sertifikat. Dan jangan lupa untuk mendaftar dan mengikuti event-event UIGC lainnya melalui uigc.careerlab.co slash event karena dapat berkesempatan untuk mendaftar ke lebih dari 100 perusahaan, mengenal lebih dalam berbagai perusahaan, dan tentunya mendapatkan beragam pelatihan dan webinar gratis. Kemudian, tidak lupa juga kami ingin ucapkan terima kasih kepada sponsor UIGC Virtual Expo 2023. Yang pertama ada dari PT Bank Danamon Indonesia, PT Kereta Api Indonesia, Paragon Technology and Innovation, PT Semen Indonesia dengan kolaborasi bersama Career Lab. Dan official media partner kami, yakni yang pertama adalah Good News from Indonesia, Media Tifa Tanimbar, Teman Startup, UKM Wirausaha UB, Lokernesia.id, Info Webinar.event, Depok 24 Jam Loker, 
event.list, magang.jakarta, lokerjakarta.id, kawal event, eventsina, lokernas.com, dan student katalis. Saya Prita, selaku moderator, pamit undur diri. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera untuk kita semua. Salam sehat. Terima kasih.